All right, guys. I will give people a couple minutes to get in the chat if they so choose. And then we'll get started. Look at these games. Like, look at the selection. What do we got? Extreme G. So yeah, to, to play Ocarina of Time, I had to sign up for like Mario or Nintendo's um like online and N64 thing. It was like 30, 35 bucks for me because I had some Nintendo points or gold or whatever they call it. But um and so I get all of these games for a year. Which seems like a good deal to me. I don't know this game. I don't know this game. I don't know this game. Mario Party, 1080, Jet Force Gemini. I played multiplayer with a friend, but that was it. I've heard of Harvest Moon. Excite Bike, I know because of Mario Kart. They've got the Excite Bike Arena. I didn't know there was a Pokemon Stadium 2. I played a lot of Pokemon Stadium. Oh, you got some Gold Eye. Good, good. Wave Racer, Pilot Wings. I don't know that. Mario Parties. Puzzle League. Interesting. I might look into that. I love puzzles. Pokemon Snap, Kirby, Mario Golf, Paper Mario. I beat that once, but it wasn't my favorite game ever. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie F-Zero X. Majora's Mask. We might come back and uh, do that. <laughs> What's up, Bitter? Look at these games. I get all of these games. For a year. Dr. Mario, Mario's Kart 64, Tennis. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. I already have this, but you know. This is a good selection of games. It's a good deal. All right. Let's get to the most important game. What we all came here to see. <laughs> what are you doing today, Bitter? Oh, the best music. Takes me back. I'm just going to let this play for a second. <laughs> I'm working on the nacho map. <laughs> nice. All right. Ah, oh, the nostalgia. The nostalgia is hitting really hard. <laughs> I'm not even sure I ever really truly watched this all the way through. I always just wanted to get right into the game. The last time I think I played it was in college. And I was in college from 09 to 13, so I'm guessing it was, I think it was my junior year, so right around 2011, 2012. So, 13 years, 12 years? More than a decade. But I've, I've played it so many times. Oh. I did not know it went, oh, no, we did know this. I forgot about this. That they... Made it through to this in the, the main menu. And then it starts over. Okay, it's not that long. It's going to take a second to get used to the controllers. This controller is... It's basically the Xbox controller. So it's... um, It's going to take a minute to get used to... Oh, it doesn't even let me use the D-pad. We'll go with... Oh, is it going to be long enough? It might be too long. Ah! <laughs> We're just going to be K-Dragon then. You replayed it a few years ago when it first was available on Switch? I know a ton of people got it for the uh, 3DS.
can't decide if I'm going to go around and talk to every single character, you know, really go through, if I'm just going to kind of play the game. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm glad my face isn't in the way. <laughs> he spent so long trying to get that right. I forgot they do it from Navi's point of view. I love it. I did like Navi a lot more than uh, Tattle and what was Tattle's brother's name in Majora's Mask? I can't remember. One of these lines was a hold on. Where I think it's this next line. I went to trivia, and this line was a trivia question. What game is one of the opening lines of the story? You finally woke up. Yeah. <laughs> of course I got that one right. All right, let's see these controls. That's the one thing I was a little nervous about. Ah, oh, it's so weird. I'm just spinning my joystick just to see how he would do. Yeah, it's not it's not very quick. You're going to have to be I'm going to have to be slower. The gameplay, it was more about the puzzles anyways. Hey, listen. <laughs> Sabria. Man, I'm going to find myself looking down at the controls so often. Okay. When I was young, I missed the I, so I always called her Sarah. And one of my friends got mad at me. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so yeah, which buttons do I use? Is the D pad this? We'll figure out when I get some stuff. <laughs> oh, it's this way. I'm just going to go and talk to this guy because I know he kind of starts the story and then I'll start talking to other people. I don't even know what button for us to talk to you, Navi.
None of the buttons work. Okay, so I might have to... How do I change the controls? Let's see. Oh. Interesting. None of the buttons is working for Navi. Oh. Oh, weird. It's the right the right uh analog stick. Okay. <laughs> Okay, interesting. I have a fairy now, sir. Yeah. Mido, I couldn't remember his name. Mido. <laughs> Zelda games were so good at forcing you to get things before you could move on. Like, it made the story so linear and so well done. And you almost had to follow the story. There's only a few times you could kind of skip stuff in weird ways. I know a lot of my friends would, um... I don't even remember what this is. House of Twins. Um, they would always make a point of doing the um, the spirit temple before the shadow temple. Because you could. <laughs> and so they always made a point of doing... Ooh. They always made a point of doing that. Thank you, my friend, for the information. How kind of you. Eh, you're just going to give me information about that. I know what to do there. Oh, man, it is so hard to run straight. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so does that mean I could do this? Yes. Okay, so the the right analog stick is the the C's, if you will, in on the N sixty four controller. I was going to say, there were some rubies in here, if I remember right. <laughs> if I remember, it's the Shield 20 or 10. We'll see. I'm using the Pro Controller. I feel like this is always such the weird part of Zelda. You just go into people's houses and like, yeah, hey, I'm going to open the chest and take whatever's inside. I think that was more of a, let's show them how to uh, open chests. <laughs> the Forest Training Center, I don't even remember that. Is this something, yeah, you don't let me go, okay. <laughs> Who can have a door to their house? I do not remember this house, actually. Uh, 
I don't really care. <laughs> Thank you. No. Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot how much you have to save the game. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I have enough for the shield. Hey, Rockstar, welcome and thank you for the follow. We're just getting started on Ocarina of Time. Wait, so which... There we go. I want to switch these two buttons. Okay, I get it. See us, my friend. So, are you a big Zelda fan, Zelda fan, Rockstar? Is that what brought you in? Oh, it's forty. I thought it was twenty. I need some more monies. <laughs> oh man, I I'm just talking to my the other person in my chat right now, and it's been Zelda sand. Um, it's been about 12 years since I've played this game, and so much nostalgia is already happening. Eh. I know all the buttons. Most of these people are just teaching you the controls. Nice, nice, nice. I'm on the Switch doing this, and I downloaded the, like, N64 pack. I remember there's a rock, but I can't see. There we go. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to these controls. Yeah. I'm basically using an Xbox controller, the the Pro, the Switch Pro or whatever they call it. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's gonna take a second to get the muscle memory back because it's a different controller, but I think it'll come back pretty quick. It was funny, my girlfriend in high school had never played it. And so I got her to to play it. And every time I went to, to her house, she'd, she'd try to... Where's the rock? She'd uh, make some progress. But every now and then she would play it when I wasn't there. And she would call me for help. And without looking at the screen, she'd be like, Oh, so where where do I go here? I was like, okay, look at the wall to your left. Those the... <laughs> you can just picture it. You can just You just know everything. It's that type of game. Oh, gotta get this sword out. Oh. Okay, so this is sword. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be weird, but we're doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's the forty. Oh, I forgot cutting the signs. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right, whose house have I not gone into? Have I gone in here? I don't even remember. Yes, I have. That's the that's the that's the bank. <laughs> right, I'm trying to get the the roll down again. The other thing I did, um, I played, so I played Ocarina of Time ten times, I don't know. Um, but I've also, I played Majora's Mask when it first came out, and I was, I was young. So I didn't fully understand the game very well. Um, and... So I got the, like, little guide you buy at, like, the stores, and I got the guide, and it helped me out. 
And then I never touched it again. I didn't like it that first time I played it as much. And so in college... Wait, how do I... Oh, I didn't equip this. <laughs> in college, I... Uh... I played it, and I understood the game so much better. And I, I beat the, that game, and I got all the masks by myself, like, without the guides. And it's so much easier than uh, when you're young, <laughs> when you actually understand what's happening. You've never played Majora's Mask? Have you seen somebody play it? Well, that's okay. I'm... I'm not one of you. I'm a Hyrulean. Spoilers. <laughs> it's funny. Whenever I would, um, like, me and my friends would play, like, oh, I forgot about these guys. Sword fights or something. I would always, because of Link, hold the sword in my left hand. I'm not a left-handed person. Yeah, the moon was freaky. All right, Bitter. Let's see how well you remember this game. Pop quiz. There's the three enemies at the end of this temple that you have to kill in a certain order. What order do you have to kill them in? Oh, yeah, swords this one. I should probably test this real quick well. So I can do Yeah, this Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be weird, but I'll get used to it. <laughs> Not... Inverted controls. <laughs> twenty three is number one. <laughs> Two three one. And I think I don't know this, but I have a feeling that um really which ones have you replayed more? Um I have a feeling somebody in the Zelda maker, developers, whatever you want to call them. I have a feeling somebody was a Michael Jordan fan. <laughs> I always felt... Forgot about these guys. See, I I played Twilight Princess once, and I in my head I go back and forth between the best Zelda game being this or Twilight Princess. I know that this one is um 
partially in uh, I can't remember if I have to try to shoot them down later. I can't remember if you can even make it up. Yeah, I'll go over here first. Anyways, this the reason this one is so good is is nostalgia is heavily a nostalgia factor, but it's also just a great game. I think in a um in a vacuum, Twilight Princess might technically be a little bit better. Wait, how do I get my shield out? <laughs> we'll just use this. Wait, are you serious? How do I get my shield out? Ah. Uh, um there it is. Oh, that is a weird button. Yeah. My only, literally the only gripe, and it's a very small one with Twilight Princess, is every time you got to the new shadow areas, um, yeah, every time you got to the new shadow areas, collecting the, the tears or whatever was extremely repetitive, and I wish they would have done something different each area. I liked the first time you did it, but as soon as you did that the second time, um, and the third time, and the, I don't even remember how many times there were, but it just got too repetitive, that part. Other than that, the entire game was flawless. But also a big difference between Ocarina of Time and um, Twilight Princess is, uh, for me, uh, Ocarina of Time was so far ahead of its time there was nothing that compared to it at the time it was way up here and nothing else even kind of got here it was way above what every other game um, did uh, but Twilight Princess was more comparable to other games wait uh, I don't like the inversion Oh, this is going to be so... This is going to be weird. This is going to take me a while to get used to. <laughs> I prefer Navi. I think that, that that is definitely nostalgia, but I still prefer... Oh, wait. you're. I was thinking Mida. Mida. Mallow, Mallow, Mallow. Yes, yes. <laughs> This is going to take a while to get used to, guys. Wait, I think there's one more. Yeah. Oh, this feels so weird. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I like, back to what I was kind of saying, the, the helpers. I like Navi the best. And then Tattle. And I, I like the fairies. And then as soon as... Was her name Mida? Mita? Something like that. As soon as she came... Ah, oh, she's okay. That's not the button I'm pressing. <laughs> Minna. Minna. Thank you. Thank you. There was an N there. Okay. Not going to give me anything. I see how it is. The one thing I... L really? Eh, I'm only down six. So it's fine. Um, the, the thing I liked about Twilight Princess as well were the sword combinations they gave you. Those were awesome. I used the whole roll to the side and get behind them and then spin and fly in the air so many times. That was my go-to move. I forgot about the buttons. 
Oh, Link. Grab that, my friend. Hey. Thank you for the stick. There we go. Sword and Sword I replayed recently. Now, the other thing I love about Zelda, they're so clever about if you're in a room that needs something, they will always provide it for you. Are you gonna, okay. Like, we need a... Uh, we need a Deku stick in this room. And they made sure that one was available over on that other side. I mean, how do I put it away? Okay, there we go. <laughs> when I first, the first time I played Skyward Sword, when it first came, no! <laughs> when it first came out, I wasn't, it wasn't killing. It wasn't, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But then, uh, when Breath of the Wild came out, that game wasn't for me. And I went back and played Skyward Sword. On one of my trips, I I played it uh, on the plane, since you don't have Wi-Fi on the plane. And um, I replayed it, and it was so much better the second time around. And I can't decide whether it was because I missed the point the first time, or because I was so disappointed in Breath of the Wild. Almost missed. Did I not get close enough to the center, really? To me, they're good games, but they're not Zelda to me. I think I've said that. I think we've talked about this before. I don't think I need to kill that other one. We'll see. <laughs> I did beat Breath of the Wild, and I started Tears of the Kingdom, and I never did beat it. I just, you know, like I said, it wasn't for me. The characters and stuff in the game were really good. I loved all the different characters. I just... I don't want to constantly have to be making... Um... There we go. Different weapons and stuff like that to play the game. I, I like the old style, like this game. Where... You get a sword and you can always use it. The only sword that breaks is that big Goron sword, and it's not. It's not. Um... Can I? Fine, I'll just shoot you. Ah, <laughs> it's going to take so long to get used to this bitter. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying, but... <laughs> but yeah, I definitely like the newer game, or the older games, where you don't have to keep doing... Nope, stop. I hate the noise they make. In a good way, though. Where is the other one? We'll find it. Or maybe... No, it's still there. Never mind.
I really thought that was going to be a Deku stick. <laughs> Okay, where's the thingy? Ah, there you are. Really? Find a ton of the the gold stilettos. I know there's a hundred, I think. I think I usually did like I usually got in like the twenties or thirties. Oh, wait, I think I have to go to that door, right? Yeah, I just got distracted by the school to... I didn't have my internet controller. <laughs> I did not even know you could go back in there. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, there you go. This is what I was talking about. 23 is number one. <laughs> and again, they give you the, <laughs> the DQ seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Navi. Hey, listen. <laughs> oh, really? It's so hard to get the right direction. <laughs> there we go. I can't remember if this is timed or not. It is. Okay, there's the sound. All right. Oh man, turn around. <laughs> I need to go back and play a lot of the older Zelda games. I've played a couple of like the Game Boy games. But I need to go back to, I've never played the OG, the original Zelda. I need to play that. Have you played any of those? Like for the, I think for the original Nintendo Maybe I'll do that one of these days. The biggest thing I didn't like about Ocarina of Time was the fact that you could not jump. <laughs> it was, That was so odd for a... Uh, for a game back then to not be able to jump. I almost never used the Deku nuts. I don't know about you. Oh, I'm slow. I should go back and play those. Oh. I don't remember you.
Thank you. Alrighty. Where's the fire? There's the fire. I feel like you can't appreciate the older ones because when I was growing up, that's when the game of graphics started to get better. Yeah. I can see that. I would like to see the the OG, where it all started, you know. I've never even, yeah, I haven't really seen anybody play it either. Ah, yes. Just in case I fall. <laughs> yeah, just like, um... Fall Guys and the puzzle maps. I don't want to be spoiled, and I want to kind of do it on my own. So I've never really looked that closely into gameplays. Because I don't want it to be spoiled for me. <laughs> and I know that eventually I do want to go back. I think we're already at Arachne. I forget her name. The the big spider. I think we're basically there, right? What are these guys called again? Hold on. Deku sh Shrub. <laughs> I thought it was Deku or something. How did you go? Oma, oh that's her name. Yeah. I remember the first time I the first time I was in this room, it wasn't me playing, it was my friend actually. And I was pretty young and I hadn't really seen gameplay of this before. And I remember being so creeped out. Like he was running around and it was creepy, obviously, and then he finally looked around and looked straight up and it was like, Oh, that's so creepy. I think I was eight years old. <laughs> Wait, why are you why are you firing that? <laughs> I think I'm on the wrong side of her. Fair enough. Or, oh. Why are you not? Okay, I guess I'm just going to. There we go. I usually have a pretty decent memory, and it's even worse. It's even better with things I love, like Zelda and a lot of sports. 
I think you can do this now. Huh. Yeah, the controls are so foreign to me. I'm I'm a lot slower than I usually am. That's okay. The first boss isn't supposed to be overly difficult. It's supposed to kind of get you used to the game. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I think really good job with death animations in this game too, especially with the bosses. 